In this video, we are going to see how to scrape data from multiple URLs using Octopus. If you do not know me, I'm Franek, and over a year I've worked for Octopus. I've created some video tutorials for them, so maybe I have some pieces of advice to share with you. And if it is the first time you have heard of Octopus, you can download the tool by clicking the link in the description. Before we jump directly into the tutorial, we have to determine under what circumstances scraping multiple URLs at the same time might be needed. Mainly we can find two main cases. The first one is when we want to scrape to extract data from detailed pages. It's important to draw the difference, to know the difference between a listing page and detailed pages. A listing page is a list of items, a list of products. In our example, it's a list of books. This is called a listing page. But detailed pages, they represent the URLs of each and every one of the items, the items inside the listing page. And the reason why this example makes sense is because the detailed pages always have the same structure. See, here is a title, here is a title, here is a title, there is a price below, then there is the number of products available, and so on. So this is the first main case. So let's assume I have like my list of URLs, but I can't directly type them within that input. What I have to do instead is to click on new, and custom task. In that case, I can manually input my list of URLs. Three URLs for the example, but you can enter up to 10,000 URLs. If I click on save, I should end up with something like this. By the way, I could also have created it from scratch. In that case, I just add a step and I create a loop. I specify that it's a list of URLs loop. So let's rename it and then I insert my list of URLs. I click on apply and to wrap up the whole thing, I add the step and I add an open page step and within the settings, I check load URLs in the loop. So now if I pick up the second URL, for example, I will end up with the second URL and same thing for the third one and so on. In other words, our loop has been successfully created. Okay, now what about our second case? Same thing as before, I click on new, custom task, but that case is different because we usually use it when we want to create our pagination. If you remember it well, the purpose of a pagination is to click on the next page button in order to scale our extraction up, to scale things up, to retrieve as much data as possible. So I can create my pagination normally from scratch or I can also extract it by inserting multiple URLs. This method doesn't work on every website, but let's say on most websites, we can do it this way. I'm going to show you how to do it. If I click on the next page button, I end up with the page number two, right? I can do it one more time. And as you can see, the URL here has been changed. It's written page3.html. And if I jump into the page four, it will be called page4.html. So it does make sense. It means the page number one is a URL like this. And each time we increment that number by one. And we repeat the same process for all 50 pages. Let's do that, shall we? In that case, I no longer enter the URLs manually. It won't make any sense. What I would rather do is to click on badge generate. I enter my URL and I remove the one number and instead I'm going to add a parameter. The parameter will be a number. The initial value is one every time I increment it by one and I repeat the process 50 times because there are 50 pages. If I click on confirm, boom, I have access to my list of URLs. All that remains to do is to confirm it. And if I check out my loop, I have 50 URLs else this is the end of the video if you have enjoyed it you can subscribe there is nothing else to see bye